Hello everyone, today I continue working on the weapon set for the new boss in Soul Knight Prequel Season 2. The four weapons of the new boss in this episode are the Xenotype boss weapons, located in the Colonel subspace map. First, let's talk about the exclusive Fate Bound of Xenotype, named the Spirit of Euphonium. This Fate Bound increases damage based on your mana. So, if you increase your mana pool, its damage will increase significantly. However, it only applies to normal attacks. Now let's move on to the primary firearm, named the Xenotype Mainbore. When firing normally, it shoots bullets that inflict electric damage, causing the target to be afflicted with an electric ailment. When fully charged, it summons an alien craft that fires six laser beams, also inflicting electric damage. Next up is the Xenotype Repository. When firing normally, it shoots electric orbs that also deal electric damage. When fully charged, it summons six alien crafts, but these crafts explode, releasing electric shockwaves that stun enemies and inflict electric damage. Next is the Xenotype Lost Gun. It consists of two guns that fire rapidly but deal low damage. When firing normally, it shoots electric bullets accompanied by electric damage. When fully charged, it summons up to six alien crafts to produce multiple beams of lasers, depending on the positional area when using the skill. Finally, there's the Xenotype Greatsword. It also deals electric damage. When attacking normally, it swings quite broadly. When fully charged, it buffs itself with three buffs. When attacking normally, it shoots out triangles, squares, circles, and X-shaped projectiles, all of which deal electric damage. I think the way to build this weapon set is to focus on INT. Now it not only increases spell damage, but also health, resistance, and mana, all of which are very useful in battle. With Xenotype's Fate Bound, increasing INT will significantly boost your damage output. Additionally, building attack speed would be beneficial to fully utilize this Fate Bound. I've finished reviewing the four weapons of the Xenotype boss. Thank you all for watching my video. See you in the next ones.